So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab that is using Google Cloud Trace on Kubernetes engine. So first of all, click on Start Lab and just open the Cloud Console incognito window like this. And if it asks for details like credentials, you can check the lab instruction. Now just open the Cloud Console incognito window. And now here, just scroll down and click on I agree and then click on Agree and Continue. Now the next step is that we have to activate the cloud shell. So just next to the Gemini icon, click on it to activate the cloud shell. And here basically you have to just click on continue and then you have to just authorize yourself. So just follow as I am doing. Now here let me increase the font size first of all. Now here come to the task number 1. Basically here you can see all these things are available over here. Now here first thing is that we have to just clone the repository. Because if you don't clone the repository how will work for other tasks. Now once you have cloned the repository we have to change the directory also. So just change the directory. Now then we have to just set the region and zones. So finally it is set as you can see all things are done now from here you have to just change the directory and modify the provider file provider.tfi basically we have to remove the versions over here so just run this command use the nano and here use the down arrow key to navigate okay just come down over here and just for navigating to the top side here you can see we have to remove the version thing okay like this the file will be shown on the black one so just come over here and just use the arrow key or the keyboard to come to the version section like this just come over here just use the right arrow key to move to the right and from here use the backspace button carefully remove make sure you do not remove the project also now once it is done carefully exit it use ctrl x y and then hit enter they have mentioned how to save it you can just refer it now run the init command after that you have to run the plan command and then we have to run the apply command Oh wait, first of all we have to initiate this script as such. This is successfully done. Now come to the lab instructions again. And you have to just run the plant command. After that it's time for running the apply command. here copy it paste over here and here basically you will be able to basically you have to type yes okay in small letters just type y e s in small letters you can see above also they have mentioned and hit enter now this command will take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it and for other lab free courses and school badges you can check the description box another important thing is that if face any issue you can let me know in the comment section and if you have participated in the arcade facilitator program a video how to reach 95 points is already present in the description box of this video do check it out
So finally here you can see all these tasks have been completed. Now just check the score for this particular task. And you can see we got the score. Now time for the task number 3. Now just run this command. Now after that once it is created you have to just come back over here and just run this command echo command. Now here you may face this kind of issue do not worry about it if you try to check the score you won't get the score also because it takes time to update the score right. So here you can see they have mentioned already that it will take some time so we need to just wait for it. You can see here it will show ok running then it will be available over there so just wait for some time just view it also it's very easy just on the search box type clusters you can directly open the cluster or if you face a basic issue then you can type kubernetes over here let me show you now here you can see kubernetes engine and below is the cluster you can click on it or you can just click on kubernetes then from the left side the navigation menu you can select the cluster like this okay you can see here it is automatically clicked on cluster and if you click on kubernetes you will be able to click on the cluster directly as i said earlier now here you can see we have to just check whether it is running ok or not so just come to the workload section click on the workload Here it is ok. So this part is successfully done. If you try to check the score, you can see we got the score. So basically for task number 3, we need to wait for some time. And for the task number, last task, basically here, you may not get the score because here we have to do something manually also. So first thing is that we have to just use the endpoint URL to view it. So how you will view it? Click on this tracking.demo, sorry dash demo as there is no service ingress left on the site so we have to just open the workload click on it now from here you can see just scroll down and here you can see there will be endpoint option at the bottom just come down over here and just click on it. You will be redirected to this web page. And here basically if you get this kind of thing, just click on continue to the site. Now here we got the message. Now here this does not end the lab. If you try to check the score, you won't get the score instantly. Basically here we have to replace a custom message also. So for that, here they have mentioned the instruction. So just follow it. Now many of you may find it boring that why we cannot just directly complete the lab very easily. So we have variety of peoples in the community. Many say we need step by step video and we want to see the errors also. So that's why I'm showing both of the things and making a explain. And other labs are also available. You can just check it out. So just check it out. Now here let me do this. So basically copy it from here to here just next to this url use the right arrow key and then paste over here and hit enter now here you can see the message has been updated now if you try to check the score you'll get the score without any issue and it will take some time so wait for it the score will take some time to update it and do like the video and subscribe the channel if you are new to this channel so finally we completed the lab and that's how we completed the lab so have a great day ahead. Thank you guys. Have a great day.